since the last video uh, when I unboxed all my medication I had another appointment they did another ultrasound to kind of make sure like everything was good um, I they took another vial of blood to make sure everything was looking smooth and I went off the birth control and then my period started again like two days later biggest news this morning, I did my first injection, and in this video, I'm going to do my second injection. So, uh, I'll put a trigger warning um, before I actually, like, bring the syringe um, onto the, the screen. Uh, so, you, you can stop watching at that point if you don't want to see the needle, and then I'll, like, kind of mention again, like, before I actually inject myself. So, you'll, there will be some warning for that. I should have filmed doing the first shot this morning it was actually kind of like would have made some you know great footage um but I was kind of overwhelmed already with making sure I mix the medication properly and everything so it was probably for the best not to have the added stress of knowing that there was a camera on me for all of my messing up <laughs> so it ended up actually being kind of like I, I messed up a couple times mostly because I, there's a Q cap, which I, I'm not using for my second injection today. It's two different medications, but I can, next time I um, film in the morning, I'll, I can show using the Q cap so I can like, show what it looks like. But that's used to like puncture the vial that the medicine is in and then with, and then like be able to pull it into the syringe. And I like put it on wrong and I like messed up the syringe. So I had to throw away that syringe and then I had to like do it again with another Q cap. And then I like think I messed it up again. I don't know for sure, but I was really nervous. So I like threw that syringe away and I finally was able to fill it. And then I had like ice or I put, I didn't actually have an ice pack. So I had like a bag of lima beans on my belly, which was someone uh, gave me that that tip that like if you if you put ice on this, the injection point, um, it kind of like numbs it so you don't even like feel the needle go in. I don't even know that I would have actually needed the ice because I, it, I don't know, it was like a tiny little needle. And it turned out that the injection was the easiest part of the whole thing. It was the mixing the medication that was the most stressful. I kind of like pinched the skin and I'll show that with the second shot that I'm gonna do in a couple minutes. Um, and I used a 45 degree angle and I injected the medicine and honestly like barely felt a thing. Uh, I, there was a little bit of blood when I pulled it out and now I do have a bruise which will be visible when I show doing the next shot but I'm not gonna show right now because that'll I don't like that'll be part of the the trigger warning content warning um, in a couple minutes so I, I mean, it all went smoothly um, oh. <laughs> The second medication, so I have to do them 12 hours apart. Uh, so I did the first shot at 10 a.m. and now I'm gonna do the second one at 10 p.m. and it's a different medication. So it comes in a different vial and I use a different type of syringe. Um, so, oh, my alarm is going off that it is time to go get the medication ready. So uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands and get all the materials that I need and I'll come back here and um, do this. So, and I'll, I'll before I bring anything into the screen, I'll give a little trigger warning that it's about to happen. Okay, so now I'm back. I have, this is the vial of the medication, and okay, so I'm about to bring the needle onto the screen, so just kind of fair warning. Um, so this is the medication, and this is the needle. It's an insulin needle, and I can use this. Uh, I think there's like three doses in this, so like this has to go right back into the fridge once I'm done with this now. I have my alcohol swabs to clean uh, the top of this and then also like another one for the injection point. I have my baby lima beans to get the spot ready and then I have my sharps container to put everything into when I'm done. Let's do this. Okay, uh, so let's get this. I'm, I'm like kind of nervous because I haven't done this one yet. Um, so. And I feel really vulnerable um, doing this on camera, like knowing that anyone could be watching this when I post it. So just know that I'm feeling that way. <laughs> I should have, while I'm doing this, I'm going to get my belly ready. And you can see this is the bruise from the one from earlier. And I'm going to put 
the lime beans here while I'm getting the shot ready. So this is 18 units plus the 20. That's the 18. So this goes in here. I'm going to push the air in to create the vacuum. And pull out. in there. So the air air bubble, water air bubble, and some lime. Some water. You can hear my dog drinking water in the background. Super pleasant. I have no, like I'm not even 100 percent sure if I'm doing this right. Okay. Alright, so now uh, another trigger warning because I'm about to do um, the shot. Another alcohol pad to get the spot on my belly ready. Where it's kind of numb from the lima bean. Okay, so put this here. I'm supposed to do like a different spot every time so it doesn't get like too bruised. And then squeeze the skin, 45 degree angle. I should be able to barely feel it, honestly. And then push in the meditation and pull it out. And that's it. And then this goes into the sharps container. Just drop that in there and clean up after myself. And that's it. Um, so that's my last shot for uh, today. And at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I will mix the other ones together. And um, yeah, so I'm not really feeling anything yet um, because I just started, but we'll see if I get like bruising and crampy and angsty with hormones, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, keep you updated.